Hi there. I'm Jacob with Highview Solutions, a Google Cloud Premier Partner. We work with companies using Google Cloud applications to provide licenses, technical services, support, and training. If you're currently using Google Apps at your company or are interested in making the move, please visit our website at highviewsolutions.com for more information. And take a look at our other videos on this channel. All right, so let's take a look at the um, advanced drive audit log. And for that, all we have to do is go to reporting on the left hand side. Then we are going to find audit. Uh, you have to expand that, scroll down, and then you'll find drive. Now, this advanced audit log is going to let you see the title of the document, the event description, so you can see uh, the uh, this spreadsheet was edited. Uh, it was recently created as well, so we can see edit, edit, view in the event column, who the user is, the date that the event uh, took place. We can see this has been moved. There was a create event, so uh, a spreadsheet was created just recently. And a document ID, so the document ID, which is uh, essential for audits, and then you can just find that document by URL with the document ID. The type of document that's been uh, edited or modified or where the activity is happening. Who the owner of the document is or uh, shared drive. So this does not only list items as files, but you can also see activity happening for uh, folders and shared drives. So as you can see, this is a shared drive. and uh, it gives you a description that a membership change was made of type remove. So one of the members of that shared drive was actually removed. And uh, it used to be a content manager. It's now set to none because the user was actually removed. So we can see that uh, the date when it happened, what the name of the event is. So that's shared drive membership change. The shared drive. Uh, document ID or share drive ID for that matter, uh, which we're going to take a look at that in a moment so that you can just filter out by um, either document ID or share drive ID. So uh, the type of the uh, item, so this is a share drive again, owner, as you can see, this is, this does not have an email address because it doesn't belong to a user. So it's not under my drive. It's just a company drive or shared drive. So there's no actual user ownership. This belongs to the entire organization. Reason why you don't have an actual email address. Um, visibility type. So you can see what the visibility is. This is shared externally. So this could be a, a main concern for uh, your security. And you can just go ahead and ask that user to move or change that uh, permission. By the way, it's worth mentioning this is only available from Workspace Business Standard Editions and above. So you wouldn't find this in Workspace Business Starter or if you haven't transitioned yet in G Suite Basic. So, um, and you find again, uh, the IP address is next. So that's the next uh, column. You can see what the IP address is for that event originated from. Now, um, going back to filtering. So let's say you wanted to take a look at, uh, just filter out anything that's happening to this shared drive. We go to filter. You have document ID, document type, and shared drive ID. So we're going to be using shared drive ID and hit apply. This will take some time. Remember, this has to search and fetch six months worth of logs. Um, and that's a thing you have to keep in mind. So you can only find the most recent or the last six months worth of logs of activity. All right, so as soon as this is uh, finished, there you have it. So any activity happening on that shared drive and any of its items or documents 
will be listed here. So we can see this is the uh, owner. It says uh, the name of the shared drive. So any items that have been modified under that uh, shared drive are being listed here. And so we can see it's shared externally. So let's say you wanted to actually get notifications on any changes that are happening within this shared drive because it's important and it contains confidential details and they shouldn't be really shared outside, which now we can see it's shared externally, but, but you can just go ahead and have that uh, permission changed for that shared drive. So getting notifications, you can create an alert based on this filter by clicking on that uh, bell notification icon. Give it a name so we could say, uh, Shared drive and then the name. It says test. Let's leave it to that. And we can um, next we're going to see what the filter is. So shared drive ID. This is the ID we're filtering and the one where, where we can or we want to get notifications on. So this will send an alert to the alert center. And you can also send notifications via email to all super admins. So we can create the alert. We're going to get just a confirmation at the bottom. Uh, you can't really find it here, but if you want to see where the alerts are and where the notification rules are created, we can go back to uh, home. If the alert has actually been triggered, you can go to alerts and you're going to find that here. If it isn't listed here, then you can click on manage alerts and notifications, email notifications. So that is going to show you that shared drive test custom reporting alert we've created. And the status is active, so we know it is going to trigger eventually. And uh, the actions is send notifications. The alerts is uh, on. Role type is reporting. And the date when this was created or modified. And of course, you can always delete them if you no longer need to audit those shared drives in case that is a project that has already concluded. All right, so uh, going back to the uh, reporting section, we can also export this into a CSV or a spreadsheet. So if you're not comfortable just uh, creating filters in here because it's taking too long and you're just familiar with uh, spreadsheets or um, Excel, you can go to download here. We can select all columns to get all the report, the complete report, and then select Google Sheets, which is the default, and hit download. That's going to be listed in the activity um, pop-up window in progress, and that shows now completed. So we can click on it. That's going to open in Google Sheets. And from here, you can just do the normal filtering. So we'll hit filter. And now we can just edit by um, the activity we want to tackle, maybe delete. Let's see if anything has been deleted. And whoops, I have to clear and select only delete. All right. So delete. We see many items deleted. Um, depending on when they were deleted, we could potentially restore them. This were actually deleted back in July. So unless we have Google Vault and we may be able to recover that if there was a retention policy set for that, which is a topic for a different video. But uh, that's all for today. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out at hello at highviewsolutions.com and see you next time.